Hey guys, uh, Tony Katie 8 rtt Got another thing off eBay here. I uh, was able to pick up a frequency counter um, fairly inexpensively. Just came, haven't even opened it yet, so I thought I'd do a uh, unboxing and overview of it. Um, I paid, let's see, I think I paid like a little bit under, around 30 bucks shipped. Um, it was an auction, so I can't remember what I, I think I won it for like $21 plus shipping. And it was like, all right, I think it was like a little bit over 30 bucks, so. Yep, so we'll go ahead and open it up, take a look at it. Um, it should be working. Uh, the seller said that there was a little crack on the faceplate. Um, and that's why this one sold for a little bit less. I didn't care as long as it works. It's not really damaged. It's not a big deal for me. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Wow, looks like it's packed, uh, I guess, fairly well. I think the person who sold it might have been like a like a big time eBay seller, like a you know one of those shops that buys surplus or something. I don't remember, but it's encased in the bubble envelopes. Almost at it. Wow, barely encased this. I guess it's not a bad thing. Okay. So here it is. Um, it is a Global um, Specialties 6001 frequency counter. Goes up to 650 megahertz. Um, 5 hertz to 650. Two inputs, you have to switch them. Um, has an oven in it, it looks like. I couldn't find actually a lot of information about this guy online, really any information, so I don't know. Um, but it looks like it has an oven option, so it should be fairly good. Um, on the back here, you can output 10 megahertz and you can put an external input, which is uh, important to switch the, which, whether you want to do the imp internal or external time base. So um, there are a couple other ones for sale, but I wanted to get one that could accept an external input. Um, because you can get those rubidium standards. They used to be on eBay for like 50 bucks, and you could hack them. Not really hack them, but build them into a um, full working frequency standard. Um, they're not that cheap now, but hopefully in the future they will be again, and I'll make one and get a more stable time base for this. But, um, yeah, pretty simple. Runs off of a standard AC power. Cable looks in good shape. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, because I'm using the GoPro. There's a little crack here. Um, that was the damage, and it's like a little crack. Doesn't really look like it'll affect it at all. So that was good. They uh, they did the the good idea on eBay and um, basically make it sound worse than it is. So you're not dissatisfied, <laughs> which I'm pleased about. So yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, plug it in and get it started and see. Uh, uh, maybe I'll pull over my um, what you call it my. Uh, signal generator and see what we get. So we'll go ahead and hook it up. Okay, so uh, here we have it. Um, turned it on, I uh, got it figured out, I think. At first, this topper on these seven segments wasn't lighting up. So I think something is loose in there, but I think I picked up the unit set up back down, I think it worked. So I think there's a loose connection in there. Uh, I'll investigate that later, but it looks like it's working now. Um, so I'm using an old um, signal generator. Actually, it's a function generator. It does square and tri or, uh, saw triangle waves. Um, goes up to three megahertz, you know, it's, it's old dial based, there's no display. So right now I have it set on the dial for uh, three megahertz. Um, of course, that's not perfect. So it's hard to compare it, what that system thinks it is to this, but I mean, this looks decently accurate. <laughs> um, I mean, the other one's the dial, like I said, so the dial could very easily be wrong as a proxy. That's about two and a half on the dial. Um, that's with a gate time of 0.1 seconds, or point, yep. Um, if we go to one second, gain the digit, so that, um, let's put a 10 here, actually. So that's looking like, let's see. I'm going to jump back down. So that looks like it's in kilohertz. Um, yeah, uh, the oven light hasn't come on, so I don't know if maybe there isn't 
an oven, <laughs> really, and maybe that was an option or something, or maybe it just hasn't come on yet. So I'll let it heat up a little more, and then I'll uh, come back and see if that uh, ever comes up. Okay, so I've played around with it a little bit more, um, let it sit, tried some different settings and stuff. Um, and, I mean, it, it seems fairly accurate. Right now I have it set to 300 kilohertz, according to... Uh, my function generator and I mean it looks pretty close so that looks good the oven light never came on it's been sitting here for well, probably 20 minutes on powered up and nothing so um, don't know what's happening there um, we can go ahead and open it up see what's inside um, but other than that yeah it's working about as expected there's also this low uh, low pass filter um, probably in case there's some noise that'll uh, that would throw things off um, but that's not on right now. Um, so, so yeah, you got your mode, you got your um, input select. Like I said, they split it up, and your gate times. I'm on one second now, so looks like it's working there. So we'll go ahead and open it up and uh, see what it's like inside. Okay, here it is at the top off. Um, looks like they've uh, kind of hidden everything uh, right from the top. We got this top PCB which I can pull out. Um, but it looks like it's, let's see, there's a ribbon cable on this side here, a big ribbon. Um, but, and I don't think you'll be able to see this nicely on camera, if you look under that PCB, there's this copper box. Oh, it's not really a box, it's like a little shield flimsy foil, so like a shield can, I presume, um, that uh, just, I think, uh, interference type deal, probably to, you know, keep any noise out of that area um, since it's like the input circuitry um, I think this might be what they're considering the oven of some sort it, it's like wrapped in this material um, and I don't know too much about these how they function to be honest but um, I'm wondering if something's in there and that's supposed to be, that's like the heating oven or something I don't see anything that would resemble what I do know an oven as like a metal box in here um, so, other than that, nothing too exciting, you know, it's through hole parts, um, there's a big fuse over here, let me get that on camera, the top side here is a fuse that's replaceable, big old fuse, um, big transformer, so, the, uh, not too exciting, I don't know how much of, I can get on camera here, how many of those parts you can see, um, Yep. So, I mean, it's it's plastic case. Top and bottom are plastic. These front panels are like an aluminum cut deal. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you look at these LEDs, see the gate open LED is not connected to anything. Um, the other two look like they are. So, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe the oven takes a really long time to heat up. Um, I don't know, I'll uh, let it sit for a while. Um, this is my only frequency counter. I'm just kind of getting some of this more of this test equipment stuff. So, um, yeah, if anyone knows any more about this and can explain it, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to learn more about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, cool thing. So I'll let it run for a while and I'll come back with a little update, see if the light ever did come on. Okay, so it's been sitting for a few hours now, um, just on, and uh, lights never come on. Um, the unit's warm. I mean, it's very warm to the touch on the outside. Um, and, I mean, it seems fairly stable. You'll see it's changing a little bit, um, just, you know, the last few digits there. Um, but, yeah, the oven light never came on, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I might do some more testing with this against the frequency counter when I get back to school. Um, if I can find one on campus, I'm sure we have one somewhere that I could test this against because I don't know, really know how accurate this is. But all in all, I think I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it'll do the job. Um, so I didn't have anything else, and uh, yeah, I think it'll it'll suit me well, especially for what I paid. You know, I'm sure it's not an incredible frequency counter, but uh, it can accept an external time standard, which I'd like to get. Um, and I can always upgrade when I got the money. So all in all, I like it so far. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and uh, we'll see you later.